previously on Dishonored 2. Aristocratic profile, but hostile. Playback for unambiguous that this plays in some of you. Okay, shut it down. This must be Jim Dosh's lab. You realize you're only the second person to set foot in this room, the most sophisticated laboratory in the Isles. Please, try not to damage anything as you die. Clockwork soldiers! Hey, Jindosh. I think it's time you get what's due. Prototype. I'll use the device on that brain of yours, Sokolo. Boom. No, no. Emily Caldwin. Hello, everybody. This is Liam back here again. Uh, welcome to my lounge. I don't know. I'm trying something new. Um, we are going to be playing some more Dishonored 2. It looks like we might be in the void, actually. Let's see what's up with this. We don't have our powers. Oh. The void, but somehow different this time. Lot of it too. Surprised I can pull you into this place? Fuck you. The outsider marked me long ago. Mm -hmm. I made you flee your precious tower You're and turned your, your father into cold stone. Did you do How that? Difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. I tell you were makeup dream? only around your eyes. If not, how is Delilah doing this? Well, you got a goddamn black eye. Never heard of it here. I told you, we were all Super jump. During the day, Jessamine and I played games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Good, that's where you belong, cockroach. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Nah, then too one ugly. day, pretty Jessamine broke Not Disney enough fortune, for that. And the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother well, lost her cool. kitchen job, and that night we were out on the street with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to talk about it? We were just playing. Yeah, Lady Jessamine, what's your name? It was her. Delilah's life. I don't know, man. I have trouble believing this story a whole lot. Jessamine does not seem like the type of person who would leave her flesh and blood out there, considering, you know, all in the first game and how much she cared about Emily in Corvo and all that, and all that stuff, just everything. Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in Debtor's prison. Wait, your mother's bedroom? died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. I don't care. That's the polite word for it. 
I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? I'll admit, that what? photo does look a lot like uh, an Emily in a weird way. I don't know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. She's lying. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. Oh, they have him breathing in that when animation. That's so talk, sick. Holy he's shit. He's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be so much more aggro. I, I've, I've got some ideas. Even in the void, if only I could do more. Mother, that wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Nah, you're fine. You're gonna stick with me forever. And ever. And ever. I already have over there. Okay, we're going to grab. I don't have the runes. No. I don't have the runes. I more runes. Anton? Anton. Let's go ahead and get it over right and then. I don't know what that does. Maybe reload the area. Yeah, it looks like I reloaded the area. Jindosh. Hey, Anton. You've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Okay. Delilah has the throne, and my father is. Exactly. Obviously, the throne's more important than Sokolov, old man Anton. The greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I, I can make you? electricity move from one side of the room to the other. Yeah, so can but I. Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, hmm. I meant to leave everything behind. Did you, though? But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. I don't. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. So you didn't have any information. Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's you would know, wouldn't you, Megan? I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to? We're gonna do some crazy shit this time. I'm serious. I have trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes, but there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. Ah. While trying to learn ah. more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. 
beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My that? My past oh, is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Isn't that what being Empress Maybe is? Came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas. Megan's talking mad shit for someone who uh, I very well can kill at a moment's notice. Not you, Anton, you're special. I just like the sword. It's like having a ballad song. Almost. It's just very flippable. Hold on. Oh, that's Hypatia. Okay, I was gonna say, there's a, another person on the boat. What the fuck? take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. Fair there enough. is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Okay. You'll know when I'm done. I'm not going to be very yes. quiet. Let's go. It's going to cause some chaos. There will be a grand guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Okay. Inside. Be prepared for anything. Okay. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. Yeah, It'll be the real danger. That's just part of, the, part of an occult, right? Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. You say a grave threat, but like... How much are we actually talking about the threat here? As long as it takes. I bet this one's carrying coin. You shouldn't have wandered out of yours. I provide only the fine. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Yeah. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Yeah, I want that I'm fucking room. Friend. and You're gonna give it to me. Always a delight to see you. Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry. Flies are worse here than any district in Kanaka. And it used to be such a prosperous district, too. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Uh, 
It was a pleasure to serve you. They say that the streets are closed down, so my money would be on that they would have a bunch of guards at this. We're not gonna go up. We're gonna get to that one first. deal with this so we will for now just go with our normal situation. Someone's gotta give. What are they gonna do to stop me, man? Kinda cheats when I already knew he was in there. So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated.
chest, but I don't want me going up. I really want to go up. Let's go. That's exactly what I wanted, but you know, it's fine. That's a good compare. How do we look here? There's a bunch of traps in here. across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say I was gonna fucking take his side in anything. Mission. Wasn't there another one I needed to do? Go get the shopkeep okay. over there. Intentional. I was trying to make that jump.
Well, shit. Special speech there, Mr. Duke, man. Well, loot, but I don't have the funds for that. Oh, it doesn't open up? Well, that's fucking lame. Let's go back and go get that one then. What to call it here soon, I think. Fucking stupid. Hey, if it has my face on it, it must be mine, right? Someone over there? Huh. I just need to make um, sure. Uh, call it me now. Damn! Oh. 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 Yeah, 
Yeah, so I learned that this, this little shit going on is the adrenaline you get from killing people. And it's not actually a bad thing. Ashworth is somewhere inside the Royal Conservatory. Yeah, I really ain't worried about him though. I'm gonna be honest here. That one. That was very much a nip. Mm. Oh, this goes nowhere also. That's that's cool. I'm happy I wasted my time with the bot. and grab this food to uh, do some healing. I like heal with better now.
Okay. So I need... Wasn't there a body here I was supposed to be getting? Hold on. Uh, do do do. And locked doors in its own secure display room. Oh, in the observatory, I see. Okay, um, that's fine. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, anything else of importance in here? No? Cool. Then, with this daunting task ahead of us, we have to call it here. Thank you everyone for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, yeah.